Before starting this lecture, a brief introduction to PIC16F887 is necessary. This is the controller we are going to use in this course. This is its diagram. PIC16F884 and W87 both are the same. That's why the diagram is the same. Only difference is in their memory. Now notice uh, this pin 1. It is a multipurpose pin. It is RE3. It is uh, master clear and it is VPP2. Similarly, pin 2 has many functions, pin 3 has many functions and so on. So the microcontroller have almost all the pins which are multipurpose. Now notice uh, this one, pin 11, 12 and uh, 31, 32. These are supply pins. VSS is connected to ground and VDD is connected to 5 volt supply. Now note this is uh, port B. This is port B. RB0, RB1, RB2, 3, 4 and, and so on. This is the 8-bit port. At this point, only notice that this is port B and forget all the other functions. We don't need them. Similarly now, it is uh, port D. 4 pins are here. 2 pins are below here and the other 2 are on the left. So it is not necessary that a pin is organized like B. They are generally scattered. Now, as you can see, this is port E, three pins are here and fourth one is here. At this point, only notice that there are five ports, A, B, C, D, and E. All pins are eight bits. All the ports are eight bit ports, but uh, port E is a four bit port. That's it we don't have to go to the other functions. Now, before starting the lecture, let's uh, create a folder and all our course will be organized here. Name it microcontroller course. Then uh, first uh, section is LEDs. So we are creating an um, LED folder and all our uh, projects Proteus and Proton will be here and you can access them later. Now, let's start a project in Proteus. Start new. Uh, name it uh, LEDs. Now select the folder we created uh, in D uh, microcontroller course and then LEDs. Okay. Folder selected. Now next. A schematic default. A PCB also default. Here we select our microcontroller. We are using a Pick C, uh, pick 16. So select pick 16 and now it's model double it's 7. It will be here. Uh, this double it's 7. Next and uh, done. Uh, this code we don't need it. Uh, PCB we don't need it too. This is the microcontroller we selected. You can uh, uh, zoom in and zoom out it as you want. Okay, now we need to select an LED. For LED, click here at P. Here you can select any component. Now search LED. Go to Opto Electronics. That means electronic, uh, light related electronics. And here you can see different LEDs. We select yellow. It is a bit prominent. Double click it. It will be in the workplace here. Now put it here. Connect it to some pin, let's say RD0. Now ground the other terminal. You find uh, the ground here in uh, terminal mode. Click ground and put it here. So our circuit is uh, complete now. Let's design a uh, software for it. Uh, this is Proton Basic. Click new. These details are not necessary. Select it, delete them. Now First of all, we tell the compiler which microcontroller we are using. For this, we write device <coughs> and the controller name. We are using 16F887, so we write this then. Their frequency, crystal 4 megahertz. Uh, crystal is uh, just like a uh, heart in human bodies. After that, we write all digital true. In microcontrollers, we have digital features and analog features. At the moment, we are only using digital features. Then we are using port D as output. So declare it as output. So output port D. 
then port D equals 0 all the port will be 0 after that we write uh, port D dot 0 equals 1 which means port D dot 0 will be on after that we give a delay millisecond 1000 uh, 1000 milliseconds mean one second and 500 millisecond will mean half second so we turn on the pin 0 of port D and it will remain on for one second after that we turn it off port D dot 0 equals 0 and then end program is complete it will turn on the pin and uh, after one second it will turn it off now let's uh, save it name it uh, single LED and notice that this is the same folder we created now its name single LED save this is the name name appears here too now notice that this is the file we saved just now single LED dot base it is uh, now if we compile it there are several files are created here below this space and uh, one of them will be hex file now let's compile and see which files are created compile compilation successful now let's see it now Notice that there are many new files created. In this file, hex is the most important file. This is the file which is copied to microcontroller. Now let's copy it here. Double click, select the folder, and select a single LED dot hex. This is the file cre uh, created after uh, compilation. Now set the frequency. We write 4 megahertz in program, so set it at 4 megahertz here too. Now let's run it. It will turn on for one second and then off. Yes, it is working fine. Now let's uh, uh, blink the LED. To blink LED, we use uh, loop. We write loop here and then go to loop here at the end. Okay, now all the instruction between loop and go to loop uh, will always be repeated they will repeat themselves forever now we write delay ms 1000 here it means that it will turn on for one second and it will turn off for one second now these lines will be repeated now let's check oh it's not blinking reason is that we didn't compile the program so first we must compile it let's compile so that a new hex file will be created now play and yes it is blinking now let's uh, reduce the delay it will blink a bit faster let's make it triple two compile and uh, check it oh it is blinking faster so this is our lecture one completed by software and the circuit now let's see if we uh, want to connect it to the other pin what changes we uh, are made in the program we, we connected it in port C so port C, output port C, port C0, port C.0 and then port C.0 on and off ok it's working fine here now let's uh, connect it to some other pin and see what changes are made in the program ok it's connected to port C.5 so 0 will be replaced by 5 for c.50 for c.51 compile
it is working fine now you can check on all the other pins as you want 